if you're wondering, how do you get those raving fans? How do you get those initial testimonials? Especially if you are just getting started, stay tuned to this video, especially watch to the end because I share a strategy that I find no coaches talk about. But with that, let's get into it. Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time online life and business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things. And I'm super proud to say that I've literally worked with thousands of people, maybe even tens of thousands when you think of all the people that have gone through my programs. And I'm really, really fortunate that I'm able to get my clients results. And you know, I just love working with my clients and I love the feedback and the testimonials that they give me. And so I know that testimonials are really, really important in your business. In fact, I've talked about this in quite a few videos when it comes to increasing sales. In fact, getting testimonials is one of the easiest things that you can do where you don't have to spend a lot on marketing if you just have people who are raving, raving fans of yours. But if you're wondering, how do you get those raving fans? How do you get those initial testimonials, especially if you are just getting started? No, you don't need to offer coaching for free, which I know is something that a lot of people think they need to do when they're just getting started. No, you need to do something else instead if you want a raving client testimonial that is ultimately going to lead to more clients and more sales in your business. So if you want to know what that is, stay tuned to this video, especially watch to the end because I share a strategy that I find no coaches talk about, but it's so important that you do this. So with that, let's get into it. All right, so if you want clients to rave about your coaching, when you create your coaching programs, the first thing you need to do is you need to make that coaching program based on just one outcome. Yes, this is something that a lot of beginner and even experienced and established coaches make the mistake of is they create these programs and they create them around multiple outcomes at the same time. For instance, if you're a health coach and you're like, oh, I'm going to show you how to get to your ideal weight and how to run a five minute mile or a four minute mile. And I'm going to show you how to get abs and I'm going to show you how to go vegan and I'm going to show you how to lower your risk for heart disease and whatever, <laughs> all the different things that I guess go into health coaching, obviously. I'm not a health coach, understand that even if you get clients to sign up with you, and by the way, it's gonna be more difficult if you go that approach to even get clients in the door who will want to sign up with you. But even if you get someone who's willing to sign up for a coaching program that is gonna help them do all of these things, understand that it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to actually get them results because it's a moving target, right? You've come up with all these different outcomes that you were gonna help people get, and now you run the risk of them not being able to get the result as a result of your coaching. And now you run the risk of them getting frustrated or not sure what they should focus focus on first or your coaching program, you might feel tempted to even extend it longer than it needs to be because you're like, oh, I said I was gonna help them do this, this, and this. And you know, it's all these different things up in the air. Truly, truly, I know you feel like, oh, I'm being more generous because I'm showing people how to do all these different things and all these different things might be really, really important. And you're like, no, if you wanna be healthy, as a health coach, I know that you need to master your fitness and your diet and your mindset and all of these different things. That's fine, but trust me, when it comes to creating your coaching programs, focus on one outcome. It'll be easier for the client. They're more likely to actually get the result and that's how you get raving fans. All right, the next thing you need to do, and this is something that also a lot of beginner and maybe even some established coaches really struggle with is in addition to focusing on one outcome with your coaching program, you really want to make sure that you're focusing on a tangible outcome with your coaching program. So I always say this, you know, shout out to what I call my touchy feely coaches, you know, my coaches who are in the life coaching arena, but are maybe more softer type uh, results that they help people get, you know, coaches who are out here helping people find their life purpose or helping people be more confident, et cetera, et cetera. That's fine, but understand that when you are coming up with your coaching programs and you want to get people results and you want them to be raving fans, it needs to be something tangible. And by tangible, I mean that it needs to be clear that they've gotten the result as a result of working with you, right? When we do these kind of vague, like, I'm going to help people feel better, find their purpose, be more confident it's not even always obvious to the client if they've crossed the finish line or not. So you wanna bring that down, make it more tangible and say, yes, in this coaching program, I'm gonna show you in a business context, I'll just say for me, in this coaching program, I'm gonna show you how to get your first client, right? That's super clear and super tangible. Either you got the result or you didn't, or um, maybe in a financial context, I'm gonna show you how to um, save an extra $10,000 for your retirement without working longer hours or something, I don't know. Um, if you're a financial coach or if you're a health coach, I'm gonna show you how to eat plant-based um, at least Monday through Friday 
um, even if you work a full-time job and you're super busy, right? These are super clear, tangible outcomes that someone on the outside looking in is gonna be able to say, hey, did they get the result or not? And so that's important even for your clients because you don't want them to go through your coaching program and they feel better, but maybe they're not sure that they got the result or not. When the client is like, sure, like, whoa, I got this result, that's when you get those raving fans. So don't only just choose one outcome, but choose one tangible outcome so that the client knows if they got it or not. And they're able to share with their friends and family about how amazing you are. All right, the next thing you need to do, and maybe you picked this up from the previous tip when I was sharing those examples, is that in addition to focusing on one outcome and in addition to focusing on a tangible outcome, you need to focus on a narrow outcome. I know most of us in our coaching programs, again, as the expert, we're like, ah, there's so many things that I wanna help you accomplish. Like we wanna help people get big results. But here's the thing, you get big testimonials when you help people get narrow results, meaning something that is super, super focused. So notice in the previous examples, I was using the example, say, as a business coach, helping you get your first client, right? That's super narrow, right? It's not just, oh, I'm gonna help you grow your business, even though that would be, you know, one outcome and tangible, or as a health coach, it's not just, oh, I'm gonna help you get healthier. No, I'm gonna help you master your vegan meal plans for people who are busy professionals who are looking to transition into, you know, plant-based eating, right? Like, see, it's, it's one outcome, it's tangible, and it's narrow. And you actually get better reviews when you do that. You get more raving testimonials when you do that because it's something that the client can feel like they can really wrap their hands around, right? People are super busy. And I know we wanna get them from point A to point Z in one shot, but you often help them get from point A to point Z faster if you first show them how to get from point A to point E, and then from point E to point J, and then from point J to point N, right? If you stair-step them along the way, it's paradoxical, but they actually get there faster because they have that motivation because they've seen like, oh wow, I got this result working with her just on this thing. I'm super excited, I'm coming back. Now I wanna do the next thing. Oh man, I got that result, now I'm coming back. I wanna do the next thing. And then they end up getting there faster versus if you said, okay, I'm gonna help them get from A to Z in one shot. You know, if you don't have the infrastructure, you know, set up to help people, you know, get these huge results, especially when you're just getting started out, it can be very frustrating for people if they don't have like little milestones to achieve along the way. So make sure that you are making those outcomes tangible, but also narrow and you'll find that you'll get really, really raving reviews. All right, I have more where that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. What's the outcome of your coaching program? Share in the comments below. All right, the next thing that you wanna do, if you wanna have raving, raving fans and clients for your coaching business, and again, paradoxical, you would be surprised, but you actually wanna make your coaching program shorter, not longer. Now hear me out, here's what I mean by this, because I get questions on this all the time. In fact, I got a lot of questions about this on the last Nail Your Niche Challenge that I did. And by the way, if you haven't signed up for it, what on earth are you doing? I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to do them live going forward, but my Nail Your Niche Challenge is my free five-day challenge to help you perfectly pinpoint your most profitable niche. So if you're listening to this and you're like, ooh, I wanna create a coaching program that has a tangible outcome but I'm not even quite sure what my niche should be. You need to sign up for this challenge, like not tomorrow, like today. So it's a free challenge, it's five days, it's live, it's me. Yes, it's not a, a recording. I actually show up and over the course of five days, I show you how to nail your niche. So again, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able, one, to do it for free and two, to be doing it consistently going forward in the future. But for now, you can sign up for the next nail your niche challenge by clicking the link below. And so just as I shared in that Nail Your Niche Challenge, the reason why you wanna focus on a shorter duration and not longer is because your clients actually want the results sooner, not later, right? So I'm not saying making your coaching program artificially short, make your coaching program as long as it needs to be, but don't make it any longer. And I say this particularly for new coaches or even established coaches who are having trouble charging the prices that they want. And by the way, if that's your struggle, you can click this video here where I share why you're not getting paid at your new pricing, even though you raised your prices. And so oftentimes, people try to make coaching programs super, super long to like justify the price because they feel really nervous about it. But understand that your clients actually aren't purchasing like time with you, they're purchasing a result, they're purchasing ROI. And so you need to ask yourself, how long is it gonna take me to get somebody from point A to point K or whatever outcome you're helping them get? Whatever duration it's realistically gonna take you to do, then make the coaching program that long and really no more. If you wanna add an extra week or two for like questions or like buffer room, that's fine. But if you know it's gonna take somebody six weeks to get the result, don't make the coaching program five months, right? Like really ballpark it around how long it's gonna actually take them and your clients will love you for it because essentially you're helping them get the results sooner, not later. All right, and connect it with that last point. In addition to your coaching programs, particularly if you're offering courses or any kind of modules that 
that are pre-recorded, you really want to focus on training, not teaching. And this is kind of like, I know there's a bit of both, right? So I don't mean this like never, never teach, right? Obviously in your programs, you're going to teach a bit, but you really want to focus on training. So the key difference is you're looking to equip people with just the skills that they need in order to get a particular outcome where sometimes when you get into teaching mode, we get into like the theory of the thing and the philosophy and the history of it and all these different things that actually don't matter, at least not to your client. They matter to you, but when your clients come to you, they actually don't want to become an expert. They just want the outcome right? Especially when I was shifting into business coaching from life coaching, because I was like enamored with, you know, marketing. My degree was actually in marketing. I even have an MBA. So, you know, I loved all the like ins and outs and the psychology and all these different things, but I kind of had to tamp it down and say, okay, Courtney, what is absolutely essential for your clients to know in order to get that result and then share that with them. And then if they want to geek out with you later about all the ins and outs on these things, then that's fine. But the goal is really to train them to get the result, not to teach them everything you know about your subject matter. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're struggling to nail your niche, make sure you click the link below in order to register for my upcoming Nail Your Niche Challenge. But if you love this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you can't wait for my next video, make sure that you are subscribed to my podcast, The Courtney Sanders Show on both iTunes and Spotify. And if you can't wait for my next podcast episode or my next YouTube video, make sure you are following me on Instagram. That's Courtney L. Sanders on Instagram. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.